All right, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the roast of Soda Poppin', everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so good to be here. Thank you, Cash App. Powered by Cash App, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Audio is good. We are ready. Sir, you're going to have to not do that every time. Uh, straight off the back of Shit Camp, we have one final event for you ladies and gentlemen and that's the roast of soda pop and everybody thank you thank you thank you, thank you. we're gonna get right uh, right into it after that 20 minute intro thank you so much to 24k brown magic with the amazing uh guitar playing thank you to cash app for graciously sponsoring this event and also thank you to the wonderful production staff at 100 thieves for putting this amazing set together thank you thank you very much thank you uh, I'm gonna begin. Uh, I have not read any of these jokes. Uh, they were all pre-written for me. Uh, Soda Poppin, where to even begin when describing you? Uh, you're a veteran of Twitch with millions of followers to your name. That's true. And what have you got to show for it? Nothing. You're a fucking loser. <laughs> As you may have noticed, uh, Chance's ex-girlfriend, legendary Leah, isn't here. She couldn't make it. <laughs> I guess um, uh, that's par for the course, because like m most women in Chance's life, uh, he couldn't make her come. Oh, wow. We have a we have a lot of roasters today, as you see on the couch. Uh, there are some here people here that are not roasting. We have some audience members, so don't get confused if you don't see Milena come up on the stage. For the record, we invited Milena to roast, but she doesn't understand how to roast. Okay, she, <laughs> she doesn't know how, she doesn't understand how to roast. First roaster up today is going to be BJP, the brother of Soda Poppin'. Who else better to start the events today? Then him with a very special connection to Chance. Ryan, you know I've got to ask, what hurts more? The fact that your entire family lives off your degenerate brother or being a Cowboys fan? <laughs> Ryan, 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 you know I love you, but you are looking a bit old. Honestly, you are starting to make Jerry Jones look young. <laughs> I really hope you <laughs> I really hope you are not Chance's lawyer. That would be as useful as when Brandon Wheaton was your starting quarterback. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. The only know. thing fading faster than you are the Cowboys memories of winning. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ryan BJP official. Oh wow. <laughs> Uh, don't fuck this up. I got yeah, Ryan! Hi, everyone. Uh, it's great to be on the show. Um, if you're like most of the audience, you don't know anything about me, uh, just know that I'm Chance's older and better looking brother. <laughs> and I'm actually doing something productive with my life. Yeah. True. True. I'm also an attorney, so I have to be a little careful today and make sure none of my clients up here fire me for roasting them too hard. So I gotta yeah. be careful. Uh, most importantly, though, please know that I was adopted. <laughs> uh, I recently became the chair of a nonprofit, which means, unlike all these other streamers, I actually use your donations for good and for something other than myself. <laughs> and that right, Asan? <laughs> Speaking of charity, uh, we're all here today to provide viewers for Austin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I would, however, like to congratulate Austin for his official partnership with Alvea Sanctuary and becoming their environmental specialist. Clearly, though, I think there was some kind of miscommunication during that deal. He was supposed to go out and recycle plastic, but all he's been doing is recycling content. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I guess having Candyland on the last show may count towards both. <laughs> now, let me address some of the people that are here with us today. Cutie Cinderella. I'm not saying that Cutie gives off Karen vibes, oh my God. but I thought the only org she'd get into was a pyramid scheme selling candles. <laughs> Yes! 
<laughs> Honestly, Cutie is one glass of wine away from being filmed at a restaurant yelling at a manager. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame her, though. It must be annoying during the pandemic to have to put on another mask after doing all that makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Ludwig, before you laugh too hard, it's nice to see you, my man. <laughs> Ludwig's Twitch career must feel like he's back in college, trying to join up with all the cool communities, but always ending up with the incels playing Smash. <laughs> <laughs> now, watching Ludwig follow around OTV streamers reminds me of when my mom used to make me take my little brothers along with me places. <laughs> Ludwig, if anything ever happens between you and Cutie, just remember the old saying, sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> uh, Will Neff, where you at? Will, there he is. Yay. Hard to recognize him with the new look. Uh, Will sounds like he has throat cancer, <laughs> but uh, don't worry. The only carcinogen he's ever been in contact with is the crap he used to write for BuzzFeed. Oh. Oh. Will has always been destined for success with a face for radio and a voice for a sex line. <laughs> Sears. You know, growing up, I had to warn Chance about creepy strangers that might follow him around and try to touch him. <laughs> <laughs> but who knew he wouldn't face those threats till he met you? <laughs> now, we've all heard the saying, don't skip leg day, but Sear looks like he skips every day. <laughs> I think your new nickname should be Tunk, because that's Canute backwards, and you're definitely the opposite of him. <laughs> Behind every successful man like Chance, there's a streamer like Seer, providing all the sex appeal and just waiting around for a host. <laughs> Raffle Gator. You know, I've got to be honest, I never thought I'd see you in a room with this many real people. <laughs> just remember, no matter how uncomfortable you feel talking to us without your VR headset on, we feel more uncomfortable having to look at you without a VR headset on. <laughs> <laughs> Good timing, Hassan. Uh, Hassan purchased a mansion recently because, frankly, he hates poor people. Yeah! I do think it's a bit hypocritical for a leftist to buy that much property. Uh, it's about as hypocritical as all the conservatives claiming they can't breathe out of masks now when they had no issues in the past when the masks were hooded and pointed. Oh! <laughs> Being honest. Even the conservatives got roasted. <laughs> now on to Nick. Nick, it's good to see you, my man. Hey. Uh, Nick. I'm not sure, can we get the camera on Nick, please? I I'm not sure if Milena doused you with a bottle of bleach in a fight, or you just lost a bet. Uh, <laughs> but I can't blame you for trying to hide the only hairline here that's worse than mine. Okay. <laughs> Nick looks like he's permanently living in the part of a drug commercial where it's all gray and they're listing all the problems in his life. <laughs> <laughs> To be honest, the only thing that Nick holds on to tighter than his JV hockey MVP trophy is my little brother's side for relevance. Oh! I mean, it's true, what can I say? In fact, Nick only started dating Milena because he thought she was Swedish and would be able to help him milk Chance even more. Oh! <laughs> now, last but not least, my baby brother, Chance. Yeah! Before I get to him, though, I do want to express my regret that my other little brother, D. Kane, couldn't be here today, but his probation officer wouldn't let him leave the state. <laughs> Wait, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> when we were growing up, I spent hours and hours coaching Chance in chess and basketball, tutoring him in school, helping him prepare for the SAT, and he ended up as a streamer. <laughs> What a waste. Yeah, if, you think, if you think all that was a waste of time, how do you think my mom feels trying to teach him how to treat women? Oh. <laughs> One thing I really appreciate about, you, appreciate about you, Chance, is that you never let success change you. Here you are, all these years later, still pretending you're playing with your imaginary friends and girlfriends. <laughs> Instead of doing it on the bus like back in high school, though, you're now doing it in VR in front of tens of thousands of people. <laughs> I will say, though, you sure talk a lot about being rich for a guy that still has two roommates at the age of 27. <laughs> it is great, though. <laughs> 
<laughs> it really is. Uh, Chance does help me out quite a bit, though, because whenever I'm feeling down, I just realize that even with all that money and clout, you can still uh, end up devastatingly alone. <laughs> now, finally, I just want to end with this. <laughs> Chance, do you know how hard it will be for you to do anything in life with that toilet paper roll story existing on the internet? <laughs> oh. Now, I changed your diapers when you were a baby, so I get it. But <laughs> every time you visit family, we have to replace the toilet paper with baby wipes to stop you from violating our property. Oh, my God. So, now, I know this is a roast, and I'm going first, and I wanted to set the tone, but I do want to say that, obviously, I love my little brother, and I'm so proud of him. <laughs> so, Chance, like thank it. you for bringing us all here <laughs> to properly make funny. All right. Oh, God. Good job. That was great. Everybody. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. Uh, up next on the roast of Soda Pop, and we have uh, a good, a good friend of mine, Mr. Will Neff. You need to look at the sheep. I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, we changed the order many times. Okay. Uh, after Hassan betrayed the people by buying his uh, fifty billion dollar house. <laughs> Uh, Twitch chat were uh, desperate to find a replacement who was more like them, more relatable, the poor man's Hassan. Then they found out that that man was Will Neff and decided their streamer being rich wasn't that bad anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> bring it up for the blonde bombshell, Mr. Will Neff. Oh man, here we go again. <laughs> Another roast. <laughs> Uh, big shout out to Austin for throwing this event. These events are stressful. Mm. I can see that the stress has aged him terribly <laughs> over these past few months. In fact, he's aging at such a rapid rate that his asshole has a separate entrance for black cock now. <laughs> <laughs> I sold that joke, but it's a great joke, so I had to use it. That's me. Uh, Austin keeps telling <laughs> Austin keeps telling me he wants to have kids, which is going to be tough because he's going to have to stop swallowing them first. <laughs> Come on, clap! Uh, this is uh, this is the first time I get to see Rob in person. Uh, it's interesting because Rob looks like a reverse Hassan, a uh, hydrocephalic head on a withered body. <laughs> My buddy Sears here. <laughs> Sears only fucks women that look like they work at Tisch Art School. Um, a lot of people smoke after sex, but Sears just a human cigarette. <laughs> Sears <is> that. <laughs> Sears, that kid that we were all nice to in high school because we were worried he would shoot up the place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so um, about it. Yeah. <laughs> Nick and Milena are here. Oh, no. uh, everyone got mad at Milena for drinking too much at shit camp and throwing up, but I know the truth. She actually threw up because she caught Nick jerking off to QD's wiki feet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I just wrote this because I didn't have time. It's not a joke, but Nick is the Rachel Dolezal of Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was worried when I heard Nick and Milena were coming to an event called Shit Camp because I was sure that Milena was going to end up like Gabby Petito. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's a topical joke. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie, Cinderella. Nice knowing you, Will. Cutie Cinderella is what you get when you wish for a cool hot girlfriend on a cursed monkey's paw. <laughs> uh, Cutie, Cutie's feet makes Hassan's dick look clean. <laughs> when Cutie Cinderella gets her period, I imagine it's like that scene from The Shining where the elevator doors open up. <laughs> Okay. Ludwig. Ludwig's catchphrase these days is mogul moves. But did you know that back in the day you had a different brown or a different brand? A brown star based on his asshole. If he were to recreate that brand now, he'd have to superimpose all of his roommates kissing that asshole. <laughs> um, I'm a little upset that Ludwig uh, rigged the kickball game. 
Uh, but it's okay because he's going to give all that money to my favorite charity, the Hassan Piker Relief Fund. <laughs> Me with all of the other roasts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. Hey, Hassan is here. Hey! Uh, Hassan's only here because Austin promised he'd reimburse him for his time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know a lot of the jokes today about me are going to be about how Hassan Piker carries my career, but if you watched any of the footage from this week, you'll understand it's the other way around. Yeah! Hassan Piker is the Stephen Hawking of Twitch. He never leaves his chair. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's here. Yay! Ryan looks like the fat kid from Up if he grew up and started stealing Toyotas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the man of the hour. Yay! Soda pop. Soda pop and soda pop. You know, everybody talks about the glory days of the soda pop and stream, the, the throwbacks to such memorable memes as soda a gay, or go and get the shovel, or just mentoring, mentioning his mole. Uh, yep, those were clearly more creative days. <laughs> um, soda's biggest joke is that he's gay, which leaves many to beg the question what's the joke? <laughs> <laughs> the first time my girlfriend met Soda Pop, and the very first thing he said to her was, I think I disappoint my sex robot sexually. <laughs> to which my girlfriend turned to me and quietly said, I believe him. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, honestly, uh, Chance is one of the most genuine guys I've ever met. Uh, you won't believe what a sweet person he is. Uh, behind the scenes. The only thing is, if he drinks any more wine, I'm sure that Sierra's gonna fuck him. So. <laughs> Good job. Give it up for Will now, one more time. Yeah. Up next on the roast of uh, Soda Poppin, uh, we've got uh, Soda Poppin's good friend, Raffle Gator. Uh, whom I, oh, not, this is not a joke, uh, this is a quick story. Uh, yesterday, uh, there was a miscommunication at the hotel. I booked uh, several rooms at a hotel and they didn't realize he had checked in. So when I checked into my room, I walked in on a butt naked Raffle Gator sleeping on his bed. Oh it's so not a joke, I just wanted to tell that story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nothing showed the decline of competitive Overwatch more than a team willing to uh, putting uh, Raffle Gator on it. A man so <laughs> Polish he actually shits out Pierogi, a man with many names, VR Chats, Bad Boy, the Pimp of VR Chat, or in other words, King of Virgins. <laughs> Give it up for Raffle Gator. <laughs> cool. I've had a bit to drink, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hey, Raffle. Hi, I'm Rob Malecki. Hi, Raffle. <laughs> I'm Rob Malecki, a.k.a. Raffle Gator. Um, I'm just here because there's a lot of fragile egos, and they needed someone to make them feel better. True. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of familiar faces here, and even more familiar voices. Hassan, long time no see. Uh, the last time I saw Hassan was on a dating show I hosted in VR Chat over a year ago. Can you believe he lost? It turns out that your looks can't make up for your boring political takes on a virtual date. Uh, Will. Hey. You've gone through some pretty big changes lately. Yeah. I'm not talking about G4. Oh. <laughs> you went from looking like a rock star that fucks every single night to looking like your favorite song is Pumped Up Kicks. <laughs> That gun range stream made me really nervous. <laughs> the truth is, uh, ever since that kickball, that kickball game, uh, whatever school was nearby uh, has been on lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, honestly, I don't even have a roast for you. I want to thank you. Uh, me and uh, my girlfriend were having a rough patch, and after hanging out with you and Milena, we realized how good we really have it. <laughs> <laughs> 
When I heard Soda Poppins' family was gonna be here, I was getting ready to talk to D-Kane about music and role playing. What the fuck am I supposed to talk to BJP about? <laughs> Taxes? <laughs> Golf? What life was like during the Great Depression? <laughs> I'll make this quick so you could go home and watch Jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I don't know you, Ludwig, so I asked my viewers about you, and they told me you were like a modern generation Saturday Night Live, AKA a fucking awful version of a place that used to be funny. <laughs> uh, Ludwig brings an all new meaning to sleeper streamers. Your viewers care so little about content, they pay you to sleep. <laughs> and Cutie, I don't know anything other than people are afraid of you. Um, and I can see why. <laughs> you literally look like the token crazy bitch. <laughs> I originally thought that he did these subathons to uh, be shameless and get a lot of money, but I think he does it to get away from you as long as possible. <laughs> You should go shopping with Sear, though. Uh, he already buys his pajamas at the petite women's aisle. <laughs> <laughs> he just forgets to take them off when he leaves the house. <laughs> Sear claims to be this big variety streamer nowadays. But no matter what game he plays, it's always the same thing. You're dead, or you lose. <laughs> <clears throat> there is something in this stream that's variety, though. And that is which big streamer he's going to suck off that day. Miskiff, Chance, or Summit? <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about Mr. Morris. What an absolute legend. He gets girls, he's very talented, and he's very handsome. I'm talking about Chance's dad, by the way. <laughs> he was supposed to come, but he's too busy fucking my assistant. <laughs> Chance isn't getting laid anytime soon. His true love bigger is never leaving the house. You guys tease him over his skinny cock, but what do you expect with him jerking off all day? Chance <laughs> masturbates so much that his balls have started producing tumbleweeds. <laughs> and that's why I love him. The day we met, he sent me a picture of him laying in bed with his dog with some kind of sock animal over his cock. And then we watched a hentai of guys who fuck different types of monster girls. We did. I'm starting to think it's true. I'm starting to think it's not a coincidence that animals and cocks are often present and are often present when chance meets new people. <clears throat> Me and Chance have seen a lot of weird shit together in VR chat. A live Super Mario themed porn shooting where he got fucked in the face by Luigi. <laughs> a sex dungeon where a horse with an automated cock fucked him in the ass. And a degenerate party where a dommy mommy made him get down on his knees and worship her. <laughs> and out of all the things I've seen, the most awkward moment in VR chat will always be when Chance's mute, happy thoughts did a voice reveal. Oh, no. And you can pinpoint the exact moment Chance realized his mute had a bigger cock than him and he was too turned on to continue hanging out with them. <laughs> Despite all this, Chance is a good role model for kids. He's living proof that you don't need hard work, dedication, talent, skills, good looks, or even an education to be a millionaire. <laughs> For those of you who say who got, for those of you who say he got here by being good at games, remember that Chance is the only person in the world who Seer has made rage quit a game. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Seriously though, Chance is a good guy. He treats all his friends and even strangers to dinner. I'll never forget the time he took me to a fancy steak restaurant. He was wearing a stained Fantasia t-shirt. <laughs> And when I asked him about Fantasia, he said he's never heard of it. <laughs> he then ordered tortilla soup, chips with queso, and he asked for no avocado. <laughs> he then pulled out a bouncy ball out of his pocket and tried to bounce it, but it flew across the whole restaurant. <laughs> when the waitress brought us the bill, I handed it to Chance, and she thought I was stealing from a mentally disabled person. <laughs> And I'm proud to call that mentally disabled person my friend. <laughs> I appreciate you, Chad. <laughs> 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 hey, nice job. Give it up for Raffle Gator one more time. Uh, big round of applause. Uh, I know they're not roasting, but Minx and Casey Tron have entered the building, everybody. <laughs> they're not roasting, they're just here. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Up next on the roast of Hassan, 
is somebody that uh, I regard as one of the most funny people uh, in the world. Uh, don't bomb, please. Uh, Mr. Sear, um, I just want, wait, wait. <laughs> I just want to know, uh, to let you know how much I love you. Uh, this, this line was written for Will Neff. This was not written for me. I think they, they messed this up. So everybody, bring it up for Mr. Sear. Read it. I'm going to read it. Okay. I just wanted to let you know how much I love you. I have uh, on a brotherly level. Regardless of where we are in the world, even in the best of places, it's possible to feel alone. With a motherfucker like you treading this planet at the same time as me, knowing that in itself is enough of a reminder that I'm never alone. I, what? I, I, and, he, and he did it like that? Uh, that was, uh, everybody, Sierra. Yeah. I should have said it before. You're going to embarrass yourself. Just well, up. that was embarrassing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> that, somebody said, is that, was that a eulogy? Hmm. <laughs> 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 Thanks for inviting me onto the show, Austin. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. Austin has somehow convinced streamers again to stick around for one of his shows following a much bigger and better planned event. <laughs> I'm not sure why he hasn't just moved to Texas yet. He'll be able to leech content easier and flirt with Schlatt more. <laughs> and me. It's funny when you think about it. All the washed up streamers are in Austin. But Austin can never get in the washed up streamer. <laughs> Chance's brother, Ryan, is here. My lawyer. <laughs> Ryan looks like Mr. Clean got addicted to meth after his life fell apart trying to gamble like Chance does. I mean, imagine being the lesser known brother to a person who's the lesser known version of like 50 other streamers. <laughs> Hassan! Now, Hassan is the only guy here who is more out of touch with his style than me. <laughs> you know, Hassan looks like a caveman stumbled into an L.A. fuckboy character creator and somebody <laughs> pressed the randomize button. <laughs> the man is a millionaire and can't afford a mirror. He drives a 2001 Toyota Camry and still asks for refunds. My outfit showcases class while his outfit showcases class struggle. <laughs> the only time he takes off his tax the rich fanny pack is to fuck a trust fund model. <laughs> oh, Hassan is responsible for 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> That's my joke. That's my joke. That, that one's mine. Okay. <laughs> Not dancing on the rooftop. That was my only joke. <laughs> So true. Um, nobody asked, but you know, I actually studied French in college, and Ludwig's jawline reminds me of the French monarchs who had a condition called Hasburg jaw. But surely that can't be the case unless your grandparents were like cousins who fucked each other. I will say though, thank God Ludwig has French heritage and is accustomed to the foul foods. It's the only way he's able to go down on cutie. <laughs> the closest cutie Cinderella has been to being a fairy, ter fa fairy tale character is when she asks into her magic mirror, who's the new upcoming female Twitch streamer, and publicly berates them. <laughs> <laughs> Cutie has the vibe of one of those girls who thinks she's quirky because most of her friends are men, when in reality, she's just a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird to think that Chance could last longer jerking off defeat than Will Neff lasted as a popular streamer on Twitch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't write that, don't worry. <laughs> Will Neff is a living example of how this industry could swallow up any creative potential and spit out a React streamer. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, on to my friend Rob. Rob looks like the physical manifestation of Soda's IQ. <laughs> Rob is the guy that every friend, go group, friend group needs, someone who will always make others feel good about the way their life is going in comparison. <laughs> you look like you think at 10 words per minute. <laughs> That's my joke. 
<laughs> the only thing that forced that's more forced than the RP and Rob's lobby was that terrible laptop ad he did. <laughs> the 18 inch beast, baby. They don't know about it. Nick is also here. I love the Amber Rose cosplay, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Nick was the most heartbroken after Miz and Maya broke up because it's a sign that a streamer's money will no longer keep around a woman way out of their league. <laughs> I mean, just look at him now. Nick looks like the not so slim shady who can't stand up. <laughs> Soda pop inspection. <laughs> now onto the man of the hour, Mr. Soda Poppin. <laughs> Chance, I don't know why, I always want to fight you. I, <laughs> I actually always want to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> you would lose. Um, for any of you who might not know this, Chance is a porn addict. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. This thing has taken so much abuse over the years that Chance has started referring to it as his little poem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the closest Chance's dick has been to being clean is when he sets fire to his pubes. I wouldn't be surprised if he was so desperate that he gets head from his vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Thank God he grooms himself through, uh, though, or else every time he took out his dick to take a piss, he'd be there for 10 minutes looking for a needle in a haystack. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Judging by how much time Chance spends in VR chat with those mutes, it's pretty safe to say that he's probably jacked off to more dudes than Austin. <laughs> um, Chance? <laughs> You do do it, Phil. You jerk off the dudes? Yeah. <laughs> Chance, you truly are unique. I can't think of any other streamer that's been around as long as you have and has never once been relevant. What the fuck? Aspir <laughs> uh, aspiring streamers take note from Chance. Don't take advantage of your, your viewers by flirting with them on Discord. Whoa. Just take advantage of them by selling them shady gambling sites. <laughs> Chance's way makes you a millionaire. The other one makes you lose resinue, revenue for a year. <laughs> Just like in real life, Chance hasn't had any luck in online dating. He's the only guy I know that isn't able to sext. First of all, he's the only guy that suggestively sends a pencil emoji. <laughs> Second, <laughs> Every time he sends a picture of his <laughs> Secondly, every time he sends a picture of his dick, he gets reported for child pornography. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was brutal. Uh, Chance is responsible for my success. Thank you. <laughs> we do sell a lot of cocaine, so if you're interested, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you. Sit down. What? What do you want? Ah, oh, one more time for Sear. Yeah. Woo! All right, our next roaster of the day, just like his moderators, he exploited my writers for all of their labor. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, get what? I mean, you brought me here. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> give it up for multi-millionaire Hassan Pudger! <laughs> I'm not even funny. I don't know why you keep making me do these things. <laughs> it's because you have a lot of viewers. That's true. Yeah, yeah, I know. None of the Minecrafters wanted to come here. Well, That's except true. for... Ted, what? I guess, <laughs> and Connor, he's not a Minecrafter anymore. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm roasting you guys. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I didn't write most of this stuff, so you know, I don't know. Here goes. Okay. I'm putting as much effort into this as Austin is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for uh, having me on again, Austin. You're wonderful. I heard that Comedy Central was considering threatening legal action for stealing their roast format, but luckily they were worried about the optics of suing a self-made Indian man. <laughs> <laughs> so they decided against it. Which, you know, that's why we're here again. 
I don't know how you got away with treating all of your shows like Zoom calls for so long, Austin. You barely paid attention. They were disorganized. No one even knew what they were doing. And we all knew you weren't wearing pants, especially when I was on them. Okay. <laughs> You're not my type. Yeah, I know. Well, soda is. Well, not anymore. Apparently. <laughs> Austin. I've been trying to come up with a decent joke. It's like the eighth time I've done one of your roasts. So like every time I have to make jokes about you, for a couple hours I've been thinking like, what can I come up with? But you just it's, almost, you just it's almost impossible to think of something original when your only personality trait is being gay. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've made me a homophobic person. <laughs> your driving is atrocious. Uh, thank you. Also, you're a bad gay. What? Yeah. Oh. You are. I'm going to say it, okay? Tell I'm gonna, him I'm a bad I'm gay. I'm finally saying. Tell him I'm a bad gay, Hassan. You have zero girlfriends. Yes. And then the only time you interact with girls is to take them away from your guy friends that are trying to flirt with them so you can have girlfriends. I, I'm not. I, they don't know I'm gay. Anyway, this was, this was personal. <laughs> they do know you're gay. They don't know I'm gay. I was, they, I, know. Okay. they know. They know. They don't know at first because all you talk about is football. Okay. <laughs> and then and then you're like, oh my god, you look so pretty actually. You really gay it up. <laughs> anyway. Okay. All right, let's move on from Austin. Rafflegator is here, so we might not know him. <laughs> Rafflegator is thankful for all the controversies coming out of Blizzard because he's no longer the biggest degenerate to come out of the Overwatch scene. <laughs> <laughs> Rob was literally the reason there was a brief VR moment on Twitch. It was also the reason it ended immediately. <laughs> you were there for my lowest points. Like you, you, I, I realized like I, I need to change my life. In the middle of the pandemic, you know, thousands of people are dying, and I was sitting on a Saturday night in his like strip club that he operates, getting a lap dance from a dude. I don't know who. <laughs> it, yeah, most likely a dude. But, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Please. <laughs> That's great. Um, Cutie and Ludwig are here. Thank you for coming, guys. This was wonderful, the event that you guys threw. Cutie and Ludwig are the perfect example of the gender pay gap. There is no question Cutie is the better streamer, but somehow Ludwig can put in half the work and make three times as much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> However, <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. No. That's pretty funny. No. It's a little funny. However, she's also a great argument for the gender pay gap. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine how much more unbearable she would be if she made the same as some of the guys here? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just... <laughs> If Ludwig was an ice cream flavor, he wouldn't even be vanilla. He is all the personality of an ice cube. <laughs> Ludwig, how does it feel that you are so boring? Valkyrie and Saikuno decided to replace you with Miskiff. Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't write that one, but I wish I did. <laughs> oh my god. Because it's very good. Ludwig works out for months and still has love handles big enough for Cutie's man hands to grip onto. I don't know why I'm saying that. Good one, writers. Good one. Yeah. He's the only person in this room whose ass gets more of a workout than Austin's. Whoa! That's a bit. I don't know if that's a pegging joke or just how gigantic his ass is. It's massive. Do I have a big ass? You don't know. No, oh, his oh, ass. Oh, fuck. fuck. Yes, my ass. bad, my bad. Austin fuck you. got so excited. Big ass. Yeah. Time to talk about Nick. I love Nick. Yay. Uh, I don't know how to roast him super hard, but uh, I googled Nick to see if uh, it could provide any material on him, you know? And the top <laughs> result was for the National Sex Offender Registry. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. I'm working with that. <laughs> okay. I feel like if... I feel like if Ludwig is the Jimmy Fallon of Twitch, then Nick is the Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> except... <laughs> except... Much less successful. This is a good thing. <laughs> Not for a lack of effort, though. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> What's up, Will? I don't have too much for you because, like, I feel like every time anyone ever, you know, mentions me, it's just like an automatic roast for you. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just. 
I'm just going to read out what they wrote here. Will got so tilted from being called my sidekick that he went and had a Britney moment. He went from Prince Charming to Trailer Park King. <laughs> Will, that hair makes you look like the kind of guy who doesn't wear deodorant because... I don't need, they say, use your Texas conservative impression. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and do it then. I'm going to do it. Huh? I don't need none of that estrogen blocking my natural scent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chance is so obsessed <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that he went. Oh wait, this is fitting. This is actually a joke on Seer. And I didn't even mention him. I started off by mentioning Chance. Which is kind of like, you know, because Seer is like the will to Chance. You know? Chance is so obsessed that he went and got a knockoff brand of me following him around and to suck his dick. Seer, I know your viewer count is low, but if you wanted some of my clothes, you just had to ask. You didn't have to go follow me into Goodwill. <laughs> Now on to Ryan. Okay. Ryan looks like a gym teacher that really pushes for hands-on learning. <laughs> Ryan. <It's fucked> up. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Ryan uses that hat to hide his bald head like Soda uses alinity to hide how fucking lonely he is. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just, I just want to thank Ryan for being here and stopping me from being the oldest person in the room. You know, Will is older than me, and no one ever brings that up for some reason. But I guess you know. Yeah, they just don't really care about Will, so that's why. <laughs> oh God. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking roast you back a little bit, you son of a bitch. Um, I didn't make your dick dirty. Okay. My <laughs> dick is not dirty. Stop. Okay. Uh, people might roast me for dressing like I'm a decade younger. But Ryan dresses like he's in his 60s. The baseball cap, polo shirt, and khaki drip makes him look like he's in an, he's undercover in a retirement home. <laughs> now, for the man of the hour, the man I love, Soda Poppin'. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a little risque. <laughs> okay. Please don't cancel me, Minecraft fans. Let's go. Just kidding. They probably stopped watching when they realized that, like, Rambo or Tubbo or whatever the fuck other British kid is not going to show up to this broadcast. <laughs> okay. Soda still uses the R word a lot. But don't worry, guys. Once you see him try to talk to a woman, you'll see he gets a pass. <laughs> okay. Telling Soda he can't use the R word is like telling a black person he can't say the N-word. <laughs> it's his word to say. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if anyone remembers the toilet shortage, the toilet roll shortage in the beginning of COVID, but it wasn't because people were panic buying toilet paper. It was because Soda was desperate to find a roll thin enough to make his needle dick feel big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out this one. I don't really like it. It just, I, I'll read it. It's kind of not great. But even with all the streamers buying NFTs, Chance is still the only non-fuckable twink that nobody invests in. <laughs> okay, what's well, good? I guess. All right. Why, why are you cutting out jokes on the fly? I, mean, I don't you know. I, I didn't. I wanted to LARP as you for oh, once okay. on one of these things. Okay. Soda. How does your financial advisor react every month when he sees the majority of your income is spent on VTubers only fans? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> do, you still have a, do you still even have a financial advisor? You're poor. <laughs> That's not even a roast, it's just sad. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I know I often talk about taxing the rich, but don't worry, Soda. <laughs> I don't think you fall into that category at all anymore. <laughs> Especially with how far below me you are when I look at how many viewers and subs you have. In case you didn't understand that joke, I'm calling him poor. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you for, uh, thank you for having me. Um, you know, you're great. You're wonderful. I don't even like <laughs> Oh. You want to hug again? Yeah, why not? Okay. Give it up for Hassan Piker! Yeah. Thank you.
Uh, our next guest on the roast of Soda Poppin' uh, is Cutie Cinderella, everybody. Woo! Cutie Cinderella. <laughs> Cutie is such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bitch, she has to apply makeup to two faces every morning. You this joke Wait, have we? Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Cutie Cinderella. Uh, I will say, I uh, a lot of my jokes have been used, so if I re if I repeat, I'm gonna do my best to not do that. But anyway, Can thanks for. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me once again, Austin. You know, when you announced that you were starting this roast show, I really thought you were going to try something new. But you've had me on every show, so I guess it's just like the old days, huh? <laughs> uh, I spent the last week with Austin. The whole time he was trying to show off, boasting how good he is at sports, how strong he is from working out. But I realized the only thing you're powerful at is your bottom. So, <laughs> um, people give Austin so much shit for pretending to be Indian, but for some reason, no one gives soda shit for pretending to be straight. <laughs> Austin is so desperate that we were at shit camp and we had a slumber party. I said, "Hey, we're gonna do facials," and he pulled up Grinder. <laughs> Get it. True. Um, speaking of men, Austin likes Hassan. Uh, Hassan is one person that has always used his platform for good. He talks about politics, gives his viewers advice, and even supports female streamers by putting a pillow under their backs when he fucks them. <laughs> I'm not kidding, though. He's, uh, he wishes he put the pillow on. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He supported hundreds of, fem hundreds of female streamers. They're just um, in the just chatting section, hoping for him to call him back. Oh. Not only is Hassan rich enough to buy a house, he also has enough disposable income to buy 4,000 viewpots for Will's stream. Oh. It's really sweet. And about that house, I've seen it, it's pretty big, um, and maybe with all that extra closet space you could finally invest in a wardrobe that doesn't make you look like a groomer infiltrating a TikTok hype house. Speaking of Hassan's investment, thank you so much for being here today. Hopefully, here, I'll just... Maybe this will make up for your time. They're Gucci. Hold on. <laughs> Take this in there, okay? Um, I've seen your feet. I do not want them. <laughs> well, yeah, I cannot sell these. <laughs> That's not true. Nick will buy them. <laughs> um, will is here, of course, in case you haven't seen the show before. He's the guy you'll see on the roast and be like, wow, he's so funny and underrated, but then you'll never check out his stream. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Um, I'm kind of tired of seeing all these jokes about Will just being Hassan's sidekick when he's got so much more going for him. He's strong and tall, masculine Nordic features. It's no wonder Nick was slipping something into his drink before the show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Will, I love the new hair, and I have to say, you don't even look like a plain old lesbian anymore. <laughs> you look like a trailer park lesbian. Yeah. <sighs> when I found out that Ludwig's parents were related, I was a little surprised, like the rest of you, and then I stopped and I looked at him. <laughs> and I thought, God, there's got to be more incest in that family. <laughs> Uh, this past week, I brought Ludwig to shit camp, and I learned he's kind of a hypocrite. Kissing other streamers for clout and gay baiting is Aiden Ross's bit. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's right! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right, you two. Um, I, I, don't, I don't take any credit for the way Ludwig dresses. 
He says he wants to dress like a son, which is why he looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ludwig and I actually have a bit in common. After being together for a few years, he still uses his fake laugh and I still fake my orgasms. <laughs> Raffle Gator. Um, <laughs> it's great that even though you spend all your time doing role play with children on VR chat, you're still not self conscious about looking like a pedophile. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm going to be real with everyone here. I don't have many Rafflegator jokes. I spent as much time writing his jokes as people do watching his stream. <laughs> so, moving on. Damn. Uh, between Austin, Hassan, and Will, there's enough Propecia in this room that even BJP shouldn't be balding. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Ryan, we're just proud you made it here without your walker. Um, if you need anything like a diaper or prune juice, I can help you out. You old fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do some research on BJP. Um, I didn't know you were adopted. Um, and even though you grew up in a loving family, things weren't without their struggles. See, as a kid, he could he could never play baseball because he didn't know where home was. Let's go. And the best part is, the best part is, is Nick asked Austin to switch us around because he didn't want to follow this, but Austin oh, forgot. Oh shit, um, I misread this. It's all right. <laughs> Nick, uh, Nick's favorite food is French fries, so you guys can tell. Um, oh. <laughs> recently, there was an article published that eating fries every day actually shortens your lifespan, and Nick, I really hope you keep eating them. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Nick's morning stream gave me a lot of nostalgia of my childhood. See, my parents got divorced and one of them was an alcoholic. So. <laughs> I can't be too hard on Nick though. He has brought some of the best content to Twitch by having Melina on his stream. So. I think it's cool that you dyed your hair blonde because now we know what it'd be like if Eminem was black. <laughs> I know I just said Nick looks like Eminem, but he actually reminds me more of Bill Cosby. I'm just waiting for the twit longer to prove it. Oh. <laughs> uh, Sears here. Yeah. Sear honestly does so much DTA role play, I was hoping he could eventually act like someone people like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Your personality is great when you're pretending to be someone else. <laughs> Sear dresses like he wishes someone would finally invite him to do cocaine. <laughs> Sear's just like Johnny Depp. He has a drinking problem, is a great actor. Now I just wish someone would punch him in his face. <laughs> Soda poppin. Soda poppin recently set a new world record in World of Warcraft. Longest time spent in the game without him getting arrested for sexual assault. <laughs> Yeah. Soda looks like someone Austin would settle for after Ludwig said no. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> true, oh, true. Bitch. You know Soda Poppin' is from Texas because it's the only reason his mom didn't abort him. Oh, jeez. Oh, Soda's dick, but it's just impossible since Sears' mouth is always on it. <laughs> um, oh my God! All jokes aside, um, Soda, you really don't have any excuses. You have less self-control with the R word than Sweet Anita does. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone always makes fun of Soda Poppin's plastic doll of a girlfriend, but I'm confused because I didn't think you asked Elena to be a girlfriend when she was in town. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Now. 
This is pain. What's going on? Actually, now that I think of it, Sodas put his dick in more toilet paper rolls than women. Wait, that's true. <laughs> Um, I know Soda is really insecure about his thin dick, but I think that's from years of friction from his hand. <laughs> I'm not sure who masturbates more at work, Soda or Blizzard executives. Oh! <laughs> God damn! That's all I've got. I've met Soda this year. I've got way closer to Soda. He's one of the most favorite people I've met, and I'm so happy that you still invite me to your house. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Give it up for Cutie Cinderella again. Coming up next on the Roast of Soda Poppin', everybody welcome Mr. Nick Pollum. Nick, oh, okay, Nick. Yeah. Nick, uh, the, there's a reason there's uh, no other women on today's show other than Cutie uh, Cinderella. It's hard to find female creators that don't have an active restraining order against him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Nick Palm. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll All right. Well, I asked Austin before the show started, so I wouldn't have to go after. Okay, Katie. I put I put the arrow in the wrong place. He said to do it, and I switched the arrow in the wrong place. Judy, <laughs> Judy just annihilated everyone and people that weren't even here. But um, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Okay. So uh, thank you, uh, Austin, for having me on the show today. I appreciate that. Um, Austin is bisexual, more like by yourself. Oh um, <laughs> Jesus God. Christ. Straight joke, babe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was really good, Nick. Thank you. Uh, Austin is in such a dry spell that people in Africa are holding fundraisers for him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that one. It's true. It's true. It's true. Uh, when Austin first called me up to ask me to appear on a show for Chance, I assumed it was for a lover host so we could finally get him to move on from the sex dolls and graduate onto the real thing. <laughs> but when I found out it was for one of these roasts, so I guess we're gonna watch him get fucked in a different way. <laughs> Sorry for this next one. Uh, firstly, I gotta address the elephant in the room. Uh, BJP looks like the kid from <laughs> Boss Baby Grew Up and Got Diabetes. <laughs> I'm not saying that you're short, balding, and fat, but you look like Joe Rogan after he took ivermectin. <laughs> I, still wanna, I still want you to be my lawyer. I'm sorry. Okay. Then we got Ludd and QT. Uh, Ludd has pectif, pectus excavatum, which is a condition that means his chest actually goes inwards. Despite this, he's still got the biggest tits in the relationship. <laughs> I think they're all right, by the way, just personally. Um, was that? Oh, I'm sorry. Lud, I'm so sorry. Uh, seriously, QT is so flat that Lud sometimes mistakes her for one of his 13-year-old boy viewers. QT, I just have to say, you have the only feet here that I wouldn't suck, uh, considering I'm gi considering giving up my foot fetish after seeing those things. Uh, was that okay? Casey and Minks are still on the list, so you're not, you're not safe. Um, hey Ludwig, uh, what do you think fell more? You doing Jump King or your stream after the subathon? Oh. oh god, this next one. <laughs> With the amount of Ludwig has been leeching off OTV, I think it's fair to say that he's been exploding more Asians than Apple. Oh. Oh. I, I love OTV, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Scar is awesome. Um, uh, Will Neff is here with his back to school haircut. Uh, when I first saw his short hair, I assumed he caught the same cancer that his content has been giving the rest of us for the last couple of months. Hello? I'm so, I like your cut. I don't. Um, Will sounds like he's been taking he's been taking ten dicks a day in the throat for the past five years. <laughs> Austin's been trying to help him recently get those to get those rookie numbers up. <laughs> uh, maybe one day, Will, you won't be known as just Hassan's sidekick, 
Uh, just like, uh, just how everyone conveniently forgot that Seer was Anison's plus one, which is a YouTube guy. Uh, Seer, you give off the vibe of a man who looks at his reflection when he's jacking off. He always brings a pillow to the barbers to hide his raging erection, when he, uh, which he gets from staring at himself in the mirror. Uh, so. Sorry, Rob. Uh, Rafflegator's head is so massive that they ev if they ever make a Funko Pop of him, it will have the same, it will have the right proportions. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if you and Hassan swap heads, then you look like regular humans. <laughs> um, Hassan actually wasn't supposed to be here today, but uh, he thought that roasting was a cool new slang for shopping at Hot Topic. <laughs> Uh, despite what we all see in front of us, Hassan is actually starting to get a big head. Listen, Hassan, being a smart guy on Twitch is like being the guy that gets COVID, gets the COVID vaccine only after their family member dies. <laughs> You're still an idiot like the rest of us. <laughs> True. All right, let's go to Chance. Yay! Yeah! Now, I've, shown, I've, no, I've known Chance since the beginning. Been here for a long time. Uh, and you know, I know him more, more than most people. Uh, Chance is a 27-year-old degenerate with no sex life who spends his days playing World of Warcraft and jacking off to anime girls. This isn't a joke, this is true. Um, he's yeah. literally the guy that parents were worried that their kids would turn into when they bought them their first Game Boy. <laughs> Yet somehow, he's the most successful brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> true. Um, Chance tries to act like his sex life isn't tragic, but the only women you've been inside are uh, either plastic or your mother. What? <laughs> I mean, you came out of it. Oh, yeah, true. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, not like... You <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I forgot that we have to be born. You guys get it? Yeah, I got it. Thank jeez. Um, so to reveal on stream how self-conscious he feels over the fact that his dick is thin enough to fit in a toilet roll. On one hand, I think it's great that he's challenging the stigma for guys with tiny dicks to, uh, that, uh, who face it on a daily basis about you know, it being a problem. On the other hand, I hear that his dick is so small that even his sex doll has to finish herself off. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you should keep that to the future. You know, keep to yourself in the future. Um, people say that me and Chance are like two peas in a pod. Uh, we're like a pair. Uh, separate, we're just incomplete, but together we make the whole room feel uncomfortable. <laughs> we do? Especially the girls. <laughs> uh, I've never seen Chance's family happier than when they found out that he was streaming with Alinity. Uh, I can still remember the look on their faces. Not because they liked her, uh, definitely not that, but they were... <laughs> But they were just happy to see that it just wasn't another sex doll. Uh, this one could talk and form coherent sentences. Well, kind of. <laughs> oh, this next one. I've always wondered why you stayed with legendary Leah for so long until I saw her walking up the stairs. <laughs> oh. You'd have to be there to get that one. Ryan gets it. I don't get it. <laughs> you get it? If you were, if you were along... Every... Okay, next. <laughs> Vagina, so. oh. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh, I remember that, okay. <laughs> it's been so long, but we all remember it. Okay. Uh, I'll try to forget. <laughs> um, I remember the first day that we met IRL at the airport. You're walking around, uh, talking to your camera, saying how you're looking for your black friend, uh, and you were worried that you were going to die. I walked up behind you and I placed my hand on your shoulder and you screamed like a little girl. Then you proceed to make fun of my car and sit on my semen stained uh, seats, which is still there to this day. Uh, it's crazy how almost a decade later, that still happens. <laughs> uh, it's hard to believe that it's been as long as it has with the amount that we've grown, especially how much uh, that mole on your face has grown. Oh. Uh, you really need to get that checked out. There's also mole on the back of his head too, but people don't really know about that, it's disgusting. You guys should see, it's really gross. Yeah. Uh, Hello? <laughs> sorry. Uh, I never thought that I would spend my 20s taking care of another man, but I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Uh, again, thank you, Chance, for my career, everything like that. You got me, Milena. Without her, I'd probably be single just like you. So, uh, <laughs> you're thank not you. Well done. Good job. Yeah. Oh fuck. Ooh. Nick Pollan, everybody. Oh,
We have, uh, before we get to the second uh, uh, to last guest, we have a special guest coming that nobody here knows about. Uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's broadcast, Cash App, everybody, please. Yeah, Cash App. More specifically, the 100 Thieves Cash Card has been restocked and is available in the Cash App as of yesterday. The oh, card, woo! yeah. Yeah! Thank you. The card is $5, and $1 will be donated to Gamers Outreach for every card purchase. Need to be 18 years or older to purchase, and we'll have exclusive boost incentives tied to the card. Thank you, Cash App, everybody. All right, up next on the roast, we have somebody who has a podcast named The Yard. Um, it's so bad, it causes viewers to switch it off and go outside. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> give it up. For Ludwig! Uh, okay, you can let go. Okay. Bro, you're such a sellout now. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I uh, looked at his grinder when we were at Shit Camp, and he, uh, he said, Bussy powered by Cash App. <laughs> All right, look, Rosa Soda, uh, I haven't done a roast in a while, but I heard Poke Law was supposed to be here, uh, but Nick told me he couldn't come. <laughs> Jokes. Just making a couple jokes. Uh, Nick, you look like an expired chia pet. Uh, every time Hassan jerks off, he sets a timer so he doesn't come too fast, which is the same thing Austin does when he watches Hassan stream. Uh, Hassan's not even here right now. Hassan Piker! Uh, you know what? I'll go back to him later. Uh, yeah, hey, Austin, how's it going here? Hey. Uh, thanks for putting this on, by the way. Thank you. Um, Thank I, you. I'm honored you invited me. Thank you. Uh, not enough people. Give you credit for putting this together, but it doesn't count as a Cash App sponsor if they just give you 100 subs. Okay. You know? <laughs> Lyric figured that one out. Uh, a lot of people are going to say the worst part about Austin is that he never streams. I think it was the brown face for five years, but <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, too. It was 10. <laughs> uh, you did a sponsored Genshin Impact stream yesterday. You guys probably didn't watch it. Uh, that's kind of like Lil Nas X doing a Catholic church stream. <laughs> what the fuck do you know about Genshin? I, I know a lot about yeah. Genshin. Uh, Raffle Gator, uh, a lot of people are going to roast you for your view count, but not enough people are going to roast you for being fat. <laughs> <laughs> See here. You're gonna be the funniest one up here. You were the funniest one, uh, funniest one up here, and you're still gonna go home with the smallest view count. Uh, Hassan, hey, Hassan, uh, you trended on Twitter last year for saying America deserved 9/11. Thank God you didn't say anything dumb this year. <laughs> you look like a U-Haul. <laughs> How many views you get if you were ugly, but then I watched Destiny stream. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, thanks. Uh, Will, you're one of the most talented people here. I really believe that. And I know it was probably a tough decision. Taking comedy, something you love, and abandoning it completely. I mean, this guy, Will Neff, had the bravery, the cojones, to look his dreams in the eyes and say no. No, thank you. And go to G4. I salute you. <laughs> Great job. Uh, I love Will and Hassan's relationship. You know, they say that uh, romance is dead when couples break up. But I think bromances are my barometer. If they break up, then, you know, love really is dead. You guys are rock solid, like Nate Shot Nick Merckx. Uh, oh, uh. <laughs> He's not here, right? Not in the compound. <laughs> oh, we're in the 100 Thieves compound, I forgot. Okay, that's my bad. Uh, Soda, you innovated a lot on Twitch. You gambled before train wrecks. You played Among Us before OTV, and you had a psychopath girlfriend before me. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Cutie is such a bitch. Anyway, next joke. Some of you <laughs> might have forgotten that Soda's the co-owner of NRG, alongside the likes of Alex Rodriguez and, uh, and Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, Soda, you're about as useful to NRG as Nick to OTK. Oh. <laughs> Some people call Mitch Jones the less successful version of Soda, but DK already exists. <laughs> 
BJP, you're less successful than DK. You're like the third Manning brother. <laughs> Uh, but honestly, I didn't write that many jokes. I'm just happy to be here. You are on my R Mount Rushmore streamers, and uh, and I've stolen everything you've done and gotten more successful with it. So thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, I didn't hug you. Sorry, one more time. It's all right. Yeah, we can hug. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Whatever. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have one more guest before we get to Soda Poppin'. You don't know who this is. I flew this person out. It is a person it's that it's Dustin. brought you into this world. Ladies and gentlemen, the big raucous round of applause for Mama Poppin'! Something for you guys. Uh, yeah, I uh, brought a bag of soap. Take one and pass it around. <laughs> <laughs> and I brought this for you. I've seen you need Jesus. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna catch on fire. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> He's crying, Chance. Oh. You got my mom. Oh. 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 Now it's going to be harder to do this. <laughs> go all in, Mom. It's okay. I can okay, I'll go all in. Austin, <laughs> thank you so much for putting this together, uh, this event and having me here today. I was actually hoping that when you said you'd be flying me out, that you were going to propose to Chance. <laughs> But you're such a beautiful man, Austin, and, you know, uh, I should have known you were out of Chance's League. <laughs> so you, you just invited... I have to do this, baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, you just invited me here to roast him. But don't worry, you'll find someone someday. I would recommend just creating another Twitter account to express yourself better, but then you'd have three DMs that nobody would slide into. Oh, <laughs> um, now I think it's time that I address all the rest of my son's friends that are here. Hassan. Um, What's up? Uh, I'm a big fan of yours. I, I'm a very liberal woman. Um, it's amazing to see someone come on the same platform as Chance and actually do something for good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hassan teaches and informs the youth about leftist politics. Maybe, though, if he just stopped talking and took more selfies, he would bring that viewer count up and, <laughs> <laughs> and they, the Democrats might be able to hold the office for four more years. <laughs> I have to say though, Hassan, uh, even my son is smart enough to know that when you buy a big house, you at least share it with people and spread the wealth. <laughs> So, QT Cinderella, it's so nice to see you. I mean, I love QT because it's really heartwarming to see more women my age. <laughs> I mean, successful. You're now my second streamer uh, on TSM just behind Greek God X. <laughs> uh, who needs double lift when you can have a QT Greek God faith? Uh, sorry. A Q Who needs double lift when you can have a, a QT double facelift? <laughs> I want to say, though, that everyone's language today has really been appalling. I personally don't use swear words, but if I did, I would call QT Cinderella a bitch. <laughs> Ludwig. 
<laughs> Thank you. You're such a nice young man. You would be one of my favorites here today, but it's just that sometimes when you speak, it makes me wish your, wish your appendix had finished the job. <laughs> Of finishing the job, I'd warn you about using protection, but it seems you already transmitted that annoying laugh to your girlfriend. Oh my God. <laughs> Rolf Gator, I'm glad you're here. Met you on the plane. I wanted to congratulate you on being the first alcoholic in two realities. <laughs> from Overwatch, but in, in reality, you need consent to touch a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you always wonder how a person can spend so much time of their life in VR, and then you just take one look at Rolf Gator, and, <laughs> and you understand. <laughs> well, Neff, I'm glad the Cash App compound is pet friendly, so Hudson could bring you today. <laughs> Some of that three million went towards a nice big dog house. Uh, hey Nick, I wasn't sure you were gonna make it here to the show today, but when I got here I saw all the women carrying mace and covering their drinks. So I knew you made it. Did you get here by plane or by riding Chance's coattails? Um, it's good to see you here and to see that Milena hasn't murdered you yet. Not yet, not yet. Now on to my sweet Ryan. Yeah. It's so nice to be a mother of a child that we actually chose to have. <laughs> Best 50 bucks I ever spent. Oh my God. Even though we lost the receipt and couldn't get a refund. <laughs> uh, Ryan, you've been a blessing. <laughs> I know it may feel like you're living in Chance's shadow. But growing up being a four-foot person, you should be used to living in people's shadows <laughs> now. Uh, Seer, there you are. Okay. Hi, Seer, you're the only one here who looks at Chance more lovingly than I do. But that's okay. I don't think my son's love will ever, ever be won over by a variety streamer. We all know that that's just code for not having consistent viewer count. <laughs> So now I gotta talk to my babe. I don't hey! know. Yeah. People always ask me if I'm concerned about all the drinking and the drugs that Chance does. And <laughs> but I did that when I was pregnant with him and he still <laughs> managed to become a mother. Oh <laughs> when he was younger, Chance used to paint the walls with his poop. <laughs> True story. It seems he never really got grew out of that because nowadays he spreads his content all over Twitch. <laughs> Chance has always been injury prone as a kid, basically a walking accident waiting to happen. So I'm really glad he found a job that he can do without leaving his, ever leaving his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Chance's childhood, I can't believe I spent all that time yelling at him when he was a kid to get off that stupid computer, focus on school, because video games were never going to get him anywhere. I also can't believe how Ryan, I was so proud of Ryan for doing well in school and getting his law degree. Well, who's the stupid one now? <laughs> Chance never worked, never had a job growing up, never. So I cannot tell you how excited I was when I was reading the New York Post and saw an article about my baby boy finally getting a real job at a restaurant until I read the article and saw it was a fake job in another video game <laughs> that he already quit because it was too much work. <laughs> As far, as far as I can remember, Chance has always enjoyed making people laugh. So I'm not surprised he's become an entertainer. His fame has worked against him, though, 
as he's been swatted multiple times. <laughs> I have to admit that when Ryan called me to tell me the police raided my son's house, I assumed it was Dustin's. <laughs> It's a good thing we figured that out because I don't think Chance would survive in prison. <laughs> I mean, again, I don't like to use curse words, but if I did, Chance would definitely be someone's pr pr a bitch in prison. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, he might m be more popular there than he is on Twitch. <laughs> Such a great job. Give a standing ovation for Mama yeah. Bird. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man of the hour. He has taken shots for a good hour and a half. Let's give it up for his opportunity to take shots at all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Soda Poppin. Yeah. Right. Okay, God. I don't know why I have to start after my own mother. <laughs> That's not fair. I should have went before you. You should have been last. That was good. Also mean. Um, no one's coming over for Thanksgiving. Just, just let you know. Everybody's invited. I know. No one's coming. All right. Okay. I actually wrote all my stuff down. Um, with, uh, with a pen. Yeah, my hand. Yeah, my hand still fucking hurts. I haven't written, used an actual pencil forever. All right. Uh, thank you all for coming to my roast. Um, it's been a pleasure. It's been a blast learning everyone's true feelings to one another. Um, I'd like to point out. Oh God, no, I'm not starting with that. Yeah, I'll start with it. All right. I'd like to point out that I did in fact make just about everyone's career here. It is true. Without me, they would not be e famous enough to even be here in the first place. Uh, besides the communist guy and his friend. Uh, <laughs> or the gay one. Uh, but I sat here and listened to you all roast me relentlessly because I'm humble. All right. That's why I don't want to start off my mom, man. It's brutal. All right. Let's get started with the most annoying person here. Um, Ludwig is known for his mogul moves, <laughs> like convincing children to give money to a millionaire. <laughs> if, uh, if Ludwig was any more kid-friendly than he already is, we might have heard more about his involvement in the smash scene. <laughs> wow. um, speaking of the smash scene, Cutie lives in a house full of Smash Bro players. <laughs> um, you would think they'd be more excited to have a girl in the house, but she's not 14. <laughs> Cutie, which one of your default skinned white looking roommates is gonna get out of for grooming first? <laughs> um, I really am hoping it's gonna be Ludwig. <laughs> All right. Uh, after TSM joined up with a cryptocurrency, I thought they wouldn't be able to find another or a worse pump and dump scheme until they signed Cutie Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard Cutie was putting together shit camp, I thought she was talking about designing Hassan's house. <laughs> <laughs> the saddest thing to come out of the house scandal is that we confirmed Hassan is too poor to buy good taste. Uh, also, I learned recently is too poor for a nice car. His car is so shit that you have to crank the fucking windows down and up. Um, it's probably where he got all that upper body strength from rolling the windows down. <laughs> Trying to pay for LA downtown hookers. <laughs> but having a shitty car is not necessarily a bad thing. It means you've got one thing left that you can use to pander to poor people. <laughs> it's a nice Ford POS. Um, having Will, Hassan, and Seer in the same room feels like when a new couple runs into a toxic ex. Like Will finally escaped his relationship with Hassan and found someone who truly loves him and appreciates him. You know Hassan is in his room listening to the new Drake album, getting a BJ from some hot bitch. But still, but still ask her to speak with a raspy voice so it sounds like Will so we can finish. <laughs> Uh, hey, Seer, you keep trying to be a variety streamer, and that's funny enough. 
Uh, your content copies me, your style copies Hassan with some form of school shooter, and your age copies Will. At least you aren't Raffle Gator. <laughs> Rob, you are truly the embodiment of the word pathetic. Yeah. Um, you look like a Geo dude. You have less physical capabilities than competitors in the Special Olympics, which you prove by breaking your collarbone doing a Fortnite dance in VR. Um, and your sex life is getting VR lap dances from depressed alcoholics, which you are also one. You prove that. You're literally drunk right now. Uh, honestly, I think you just I should just take away my auto host and let your channel die. Um, <laughs> I'll give Rob some credit. Uh, he's the favorite stream of incels everywhere. Instead of using women for content, he uses men dressed as women in content or for content in VR. All right. I was gonna make a joke about Nick having the worst hair until Will decided to do that. Um, but then, while writing that, Nick decided to do that. With his uh, okay, hold on. Um, Nick is easily the whitest person I know. In fact, he's actually white and just permanently doing blackface. <laughs> it's true. If Nick gets any whiter or Merlena makes that spray tan any darker, one of them's gonna get banned for a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, all right, Austin, it's nice seeing you finally get some good content. On Austin's newest show, he, was, he had the legendary Robert Paulson on, and instead of diving into some of the incredible stories he probably has, Austin spent the entire time flexing that the Vikings were better than the Lions and comparing the growth on your vocal cords to his throat cancer. Oh. Uh, I, a true display of Austin taking someone else's story and making it about himself. <laughs> If Austin becomes any more self-obsessed, he'll have to change his name again, but this time, <laughs> this time to Mizkiff. <laughs> All right, last, my brother BJP. Motherfucker, you look like Benjamin Button during an awkward stage. You look, you look 57, but have the body of a fat 14-year-old. Ludwig might be interested. Um, BJP, or Ryan, recently ran into his ex in Vegas. You're telling me all about the story, and I don't know what I was more surprised about. The fact that you ran into an ex out of state, you had a re ex to run into, or you can see or find anyone in a crowd being as short as you are. <laughs> all right. Uh, to end it, thanks again for coming to my roast. Um, uh, I made most of you, I made Among Us, and I'm the best. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that about does it for the roast of Soda Poppin'. Give it up for yourself. Let's give it up for everybody. Keep the applause rolling. Mr. Will Neff, everybody. BJP. Beauty Cinderella. Ludwig. Sear. Hassan. AMP. Raffle Gator. Keep the round of applause going for the wonderful 100 Thieves production staff who put on this event. And a big shout out to Cash App for making this possible. We are actually going to be hosting Cash App right now, doing Cash App trivia with Will Neff and Sear right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again probably in three months for another roast. Thank you very much. Take care.